Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Avid Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of the science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding flight occupancy and weightless analysis. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads: We are given a table called flights with two different columns, flight ID and capacity. Flight ID being the column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table contains flight ID and its capacity. We are also given a second table called passenger. Passengers with two different columns, passenger ID and flight ID. Passenger ID is the column with unique values, and each row of this table contains passenger ID and the flight ID. Passengers book tickets for flights in advance. If a passenger books a ticket for a flight and there are still empty seats available on the flight, the passenger ticket will be confirmed. However, the passenger will be on a wait list if the flight is already at full capacity. We are asked to write a solution to report the number of passengers who successfully booked a flight that is got a seat and the number of passengers who are on the wait list for each flight. Return the result table ordered by flight ID in ascending order. Let's go through this example. So here we have three different flights with flight IDs 1, 2 and 3 and their capacity being 2, 2 and 1. So let's look at who all passengers and which flighty has how many confirmed and how many waitlisted passengers. So if we look at these three passengers, passenger ID 101, 102 and 103, all of them are in flight ID 1. So there are three people who booked flight ID 1. However, the capacity of flight ID 1 is only two. So there are two people who have confirmed tickets and one of them has waitlist. Similarly, if we look at flight ID 2, there are two people who booked and the capacity is two. So booked two and waitlist is zero and so on. So that is what we have in our output. So to solve this question, what we can do is we can firstly merge these two tables so that for every flight ID, we also see who all passengers have booked the flight and based on that, we can go ahead from there. So let's do that from this table called flight. So from flights aliased as F, let us left to join the passengers table aliased as P using the same common column called flight ID. So using flight ID and let's what we do is let's keep all the columns from flight table and only keep the passenger ID because we already have flight ID in the flights table. So P dot passenger ID. Let me go ahead and run this and let's see what do we get in our output. So now if you look at this, we have flight ID capacity and the passengers who booked that flight. Okay. Now once we have that, then what we need is we need to find out total people who have confirmed versus total people who have waitlisted. So now what we can do is we can start counting that for every flight ID, we can count that. Okay. When passenger ID 101 booked total number of people with the booking are one, then there was another booking for passenger ID 102 total number of people who booked the flight are two and two is the capacity. So until that point, we have two people who booked the flight capacity is two and therefore both of them are going to have confirmed tickets. And when there is a third passenger passenger ID 103, then that is going to be waitlisted. Let us for every flight ID arranged by the passenger ID in ascending order and then count that. Okay. For flight ID 1, when passenger ID 101, what is the count of passengers? 1. Until 102, 2, right? Because 101 and 102. Then 103 is 1, 2 and 3. So 3 total, right? So let's try to perform that particular count. So what we are going to do is that you can save this in a common table expression or here only you can perform that count. So what I'm going to do is let us count the P dot passenger ID and we are using the count as a window function so over right so partition by f dot flight id and then let us order by p dot passenger id and let us alias this as booking count right so let us alias this as booking count let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if you look at this what we have here is let me just drag it to the left so here, if you look at this, right? So when you are passenger ID 101, booking count is one, then two, and then three. Okay. Similarly, we have for other flight IDs. Now, if you think about it in this particular case, 
if your booking count is less than or equal to the capacity then those passengers will be confirmed if your booking count is greater than the capacity that means that person is going to be waitlisted right we can apply the same logic here however i want your attention on another case right let us look at case number two this is a very interesting edge case which might be helpful for us to actually change our logic or include something extra in our logic now if you look at this two different flights flight id 53 and 4 and if you look at passengers none of the passengers booked 53 or 4 right so once you perform this particular left join right so if you perform this particular left join you are going to have null in the passenger id and if you are counting this it is going to have zeros right if we look at our output this is what we have at the moment now remember the thing that we discussed in case one that if your booking count is less than or equal to the capacity that means it is a confirmed ticket whereas when it is greater than the capacity it is a waitlisted ticket if you apply that logic for this particular flight id it is going to tell you that yes there was one confirmed ticket why because zero is less than three however there are no passengers right so that is a edge case that we should keep in mind that not only your booking count should be less than equal to capacity but also your passengers should not be null right they should be a passenger then only you can say yes someone has actually booked the ticket right so we need to keep that in mind okay let us go back to case one just wanted your attention drawn on it so now what we are going to do is let's save this entire thing as a common table expression so with cte as entire thing goes into parentheses and now what we want is from this common table expression we want in our output for every flight id right so let us group by the flight id let us return the flight id and then what we are going to do is firstly let's count how many total people for every flight id successfully booked that is confirmed tickets so case when we saw that right if we look at if i scroll back that if your booking count is less than equal to the capacity so case when booking count is less than equal to capacity as well as right and your passenger id is not null right we saw in case number two then you assign the value one else you assign the value zero end this case statement and if you perform the sum since you have grouped by the flight id if you perform the sum of this that is going to give you the booked count so as booked count okay same thing we can do for waitlist but just reverse this so now case when your booking count is greater than the capacity and your passenger id is not null then you assign the value one else you assign the value zero end this and let's perform the sum of this case when statement and that is going to be the wait list count and we need to also order this by flight id in ascending order so order by flight id let me go ahead and run this okay so this is accepted if we look at for case number one our output is same as expected output as well and in case number two the same thing is here right our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and sum it to say pass all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how we do it so if we look at the solution what we basically did to solve this question is firstly we performed a left join of the flights and the passengers table using the flight id column and we got the passenger id column from the passengers table and then we also performed a count of the number of passengers who have booked the flight in a rolling sum fashion so that we have the booking counts once we had that then what we did was grouped by the flight id and if your booking capacity or booking count is less than the capacity and there is a passenger who has actually booked that flight then you assign the value one else zero and we perform the sum to get the booked count we reverse the condition and we get the waitlist count and we order by flight id in ascending order so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video